In other COVID-19 related developments, government has heightened efforts at ensuring a safe environment for visitors and nationals through the implementation of the Tourism Health Program. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, continues to work with St. Lucia to fully implement the Tourism Health Program, THP. The program aims to strengthen the island's capacity to respond to public health threats, improve the health, safety and security of locals and visitors, and to build tourism resilience, reputation and economic sustainability. CAFA's Director of Surveillance, Disease Prevention and Control, Dr. Lisa Indah, explained that the implementation of the program will give St. Lucia an added advantage of promoting surveillance and other measures for healthier, safer tourism. Representatives of CAFA and relevant agencies in St. Lucia recently held a meeting so as to decide the way forward. We have a schedule of activities that actually started on uh, Friday where we had high-level meetings with the ministers um, of Health and Tourism, Chief Medical Officer and the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Authority, where we are coming together to develop a plan. The meeting that was held today is to really develop a plan of action, how we can best, you know, uh, um, be able to have an implementation strategy specific for St. Lucia, that is, you know, for, for St. Lucia's capacity, for, for their tourism um, capacity, you know, hotels and guest houses and yachts and so on. Um, following that, this afternoon we will be a training on how to use the system and then tomorrow to Tuesday we will have uh, advanced food safety training with certification, uh, which is an international certification. Then on Tuesday afternoon we will have a meeting on improving cruise ship surveillance. St. Lucia has been working with CAFA for some four years now in the development of the Tourism Health Program. Given the country's heavy reliance on the tourism industry as its main revenue earner, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George noted that as the number of arrivals increase, so does the risk of introduction of diseases. She explained that the program will aid in boosting the country's capacity to respond to public health threats. So this program, it strengthens the country's capacity to um, to manage, to detect, first of all, in a timely manner, any initial or early infections that may come in and also to be able to manage them in a very efficient way. So it really improves the health and safety of our people and also of the tourism sector as well. So it makes it a lot safer. One of the very important aspects of the program is the training that is done at the at the level of the, the workers, the officers, and it includes both the accommodation sector, like the various hotels, and also the added activities related to the tourism industry. So the restaurants, the yachting, the cruise ship, all of those sectors would be a part of the program. CAFA facilitated a resensitization of industry operators in the Tourism Health Information System, TIS, on Monday 20th September and is facilitating a three-day advanced food safety training certification workshop from Tuesday 21st September to Thursday 23rd September for environmental health officers, hoteliers and restauranteurs and a stakeholder consultation on cruise ship surveillance assessment on Thursday 23rd September. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norvell.